Have you ever wondered what led to the fall of one of history's greatest civilizations, the Roman Empire? The Roman Empire, at its height, was a marvel of engineering, governance, and military prowess. Spanning from the British Isles to the Middle East, the empire was the epitome of ancient civilization, influencing law, culture, and society for centuries. However, the seeds of its downfall were sown long before the final collapse. Economic issues played a significant role in the decline of the Roman Empire. The empire's vast size required a massive bureaucracy and military to maintain order and defend its borders. This led to high taxation, which burdened the populace and stifled economic growth. Additionally, the empire faced severe inflation due to the devaluation of its currency. As emperors minted more coins to pay for expenses, the value of money decreased, leading to higher prices and economic instability. Political corruption and instability further weakened the empire. The Roman political system became increasingly corrupt, with power often seized through violence rather than legitimate succession. Emperors were frequently overthrown by ambitious generals or palace coups, leading to short reigns and a lack of continuity in leadership. This constant power struggle eroded the authority of the central government and led to a loss of public trust in the leadership. Military defeats also contributed significantly to the empire's decline. The Roman legions, once the most formidable military force in the world, began to falter. The empire faced continuous threats from external enemies such as the Germanic tribes, Huns, and Persians. In 410 AD, the Visigoths, led by Alaric, sacked Rome, a devastating blow that symbolized the empire's vulnerability. The constant need to defend its vast borders stretched the military thin, leading to inadequate defense and frequent losses. Furthermore, the Roman Empire struggled with internal divisions. The empire was divided into the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, in 285 AD by Emperor Diocletian. While this division was intended to make governance more manageable, it also created two distinct political entities that often failed to cooperate effectively. The Western Roman Empire, in particular, faced more significant challenges and ultimately fell in 476 AD when the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer. Social and cultural changes also played a part in the empire's decline. The spread of Christianity transformed Roman society, gradually shifting the focus from civic duty and loyalty to the emperor to spiritual concerns. While Christianity brought new values and social cohesion, it also contributed to a decline in traditional Roman values and practices that had long supported the empire's stability. Environmental and public health issues further exacerbated the decline. The empire faced several plagues and famines, which significantly reduced the population and workforce. The Antonine Plague, for instance, killed millions of people in the 2nd century AD, leading to a labor shortage and economic downturn. Despite these challenges, the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, managed to survive for another thousand years, preserving and adapting Roman laws, culture, and institutions. The Byzantine Empire played a crucial role in shaping medieval Europe and the Islamic world, serving as a bridge between ancient and modern civilizations. In examining the fall of the Roman Empire, it's essential to recognize that it was not a single catastrophic event, but rather a gradual process of decline and transformation. The interplay of economic, political, military, social, and environmental factors created a perfect storm that the once mighty empire could not withstand.